so here we are in adobe after the effects let's create a new composition we will call it as main animation as always weight is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 and duration for this time we will choose a little bit longer let's say 1.30 seconds and simply hit ok this is our main composition so we will hit ctrl y to create one solid background layer we will call it as bg as always and like this now let's create a new composition we will call it as text strip hit ok press ctrl y to create one bg i'll call it as bg and for the height of that bg we will call it let's around let's say 200 and hit ok press ctrl shift y if you want to change that and over here i think we need to decrease the height around 100 and background color i choose black and simply hit ok so as we can see we are getting this kind of strip and simply hit ok now lock this layer choose our text tool you can type whatever you want i'll type let's say typography as always select this text press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it a little bit select this text press ctrl a to select all of them press ctrl c at this point hit tab two times and hit ctrl v again tab two times and hit ctrl v again tab two times and hit ctrl v again tab two times and hit ctrl v hit ctrl a to select all of them or instead of that select this text decrease the scale around this one yeah this looks good to me select this text if you want to change the font i let's say medium again press s for scaling option and scale it around it hit ctrl d and let's hide this text select this text press p for position create one keyframe and let's say around four seconds i will move this thing over here like this and as we know we have one if i hit play we will get this kind of animation as we know we have one copy over here so we will unhide this and we will go to this position we will select this text and we will make it parent with this two so let's see how does it looks yeah this looks good to me i'll click on this position property and we will type our loop pout expression so we will get this kind of animation continuously so this is our done now hit ctrl n to create a new composition we will call this composition as let's call it as circle and hit ok press ctrl y to create a new background call it as bg hit ctrl shift y because we need to increase the height for this one let's call it as 1080 and we'll lock this layer now choose our pen tool i don't want any fill the only thing i need to care about over here is our stroke so i'll choose white color hit ok with the help of shift i'll drag this thing over here we don't need that much stroke so i'll type 10 press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically make this fit now go to the content go to the add choose repeater as we can see we have multiple copies of the one stroke so initially what we'll do we will decrease the position over here and we will increase some copies let's say the stroke width should be 5 press v and by holding shift i'll move this thing over here and i'll increase this copies and create one adjustment layer and we will apply twill effect on it t w i r l l and double click as you can see if we make a change in this angle we are getting this kind of stuff if you want then you can increase the what we call radius we will make it 20 let's say 30 this looks good to me or let's say 28 yeah now we will go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 
initially we will drag out drag our circle we will go to the effect and presets panel and we will apply cc spare effect on it not smear but spare like this increase increase the radius around 210 go to the light light height you can change i'll drag down drag it out over here go to the shading increase the ambient if you want you can change the color of light but i don't want to change the color of light hit ctrl 0 and we'll drag our text strip composition over here and we will apply cc cylinder on it as you can see we are getting this kind of stuff if we go to rotation property we can rotate it on any axis we will rotate it initially on let's say on x-axis like this now go to the shading again increase the ambient instead of full render i'll choose outside over here hit ctrl d drag it at the bottom and then instead of outside we will choose inside so we will get this kind of stuff like this circle is in the middle of this and if we hit play we will get this kind of animation now go to the circle select this shape press p initially i'll move their position around here and i'll create one keyframe go to around 10 seconds and move this over here if we go to our main animation we will we can see our circle is animating but you can animate our circle from here also for example if we go to the rotation animation we will create one keyframe on each and hit u now i'll click on the each and every one and type time star 20 hit ctrl a to copy that hit ctrl c hit ctrl a to select all of them and hit ctrl c to copy them select this alt ctrl v alt ctrl v so we will get this kind of rotation i will choose quarter one with you select both of them press ctrl shift c i will call it as circle and strip and hit ok double click on it we will choose this option over here which is region of interest i will select this and I will select this words reason we will go to the edit or let's say composition and we will choose this option which is called crop comp to the region of interest just like this and if we go to the main animation as you can see we are getting this kind of stuff now all we need to do is hitting ctrl D to create duplicate hit W to rotate it press S for scaling option and scale it now you can add make anything you want like i'll increase the size of this one and i'll adjust them according to me you are free to adjust them according to you i'll adjust just randomly press s scale according to you just like this and if you hit click we are getting this kind of stuff select all of them go to the effect and presets panel and apply wiggle position effect on it so we will get this kind of animation now hit ctrl 0 as we know we have one text strip on i mean the circle thing over here select this circle in our project window hit ctrl d and simply drag it over here double click inside this now in the adjustment layer for the angle i'll choose 20 not that much and the color of this thing should be something around this and instead of white background hit ctrl shift y we will not choose all but we are going to choose somewhere around like this hit ok and hit ok go to the main animation and we will get this kind of let's see how does it looks in full resolution yeah and if you want then what you can do hit ctrl shift y we can choose white color over here like this let's see how does it looks this looks quite good to me now select any one of them like this one and apply drop shadow effect on it 
increase the distance around this and shadow color I'll choose gray hit ok softness I'll choose 60 or even more than that more than that let's say 100 and after that hit ctrl C select all of them and simply hit ctrl V so yep this is our typography template just like this So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates. And if you want to watch After Effects tutorials in Hindi then please consider to visit my another channel called AG Animations. Link will be available in the description. Until then stay tuned.